Hi guys, I'm Sheldine. Thank you for watching. Um, today's tutorial is going to be about how I edit my uh, drawing videos in iMovie. I don't use any fancy softwares or anything like that because I wouldn't exactly call myself very tech savvy. Um, I like things to be very easy and simple and then I'm happy. I don't want to go into all the details of doing extensive research and everything to make a video. So, um, the subject of today's drawing in the tutorial is of Rocco the White German Shepherd and he is um, Burlington's best friend. He's the white Pyrenees dog at the bottom over there with a green background and um, both of those drawings were tribute drawings in loving memory of them so they're very special drawings um, to the owner and they're very special to me as well so um, if you want to see exactly how I create those videos in uh, iMovie, then please keep watching. Okay, so once your iMovie is open, click on iMovie Library and create a new event. Uh, then click on New Movie and select a theme. Um, I just go with no theme because I kind of create whatever I want as I go. Um, name your project. This one is Drawing Rocco. Uh, click OK. And I have a folder ready with all the information that I want. So I'm just going to drag and drop uh, everything where I want it to be. So I've got the like introduction photo, the videos I've put there and some of the photos. So if you've got videos in iTunes you can drag and drop them from there as well. Um, it doesn't really matter where it's coming from. So now that I have everything I want in there, I will just um, start editing. So when you put a photo in there, it kind of automatically goes to the Ken Burns crop. So just click on the cropping tool there and you can crop to fill an area or you can fit it to the screen or you can do the Ken Burns kind of crop. If you're not sure what the Ken Burns crop is, I'll show you later with another photo. But for this one, I just want that little area to show on the screen. So I want to speed up all the videos, make them faster. I usually like my videos to be in about the three minute range so you could use that little bar at the top there to make it faster or longer um, and you can see the time just there you can watch a change <laughs> um, so I'm going to make them all faster so I can squeeze them in about the three minute frame You can do the same thing for making things slower. Um, so I want mine to be even shorter than that. So I'm just going to pull some of them to the left to make it shorter or faster. <laughs> put two of the same photos here because I want the one photo to be a Ken Burns crop and the one after that I want to fit the page so that after the Ken Burns crop has done its little moving action it will stay still on the screen for you to have a good look at it for a couple of seconds. So I'm just going to fit that one like that and then the next photo, oh, wait, I'll have a look first at how the Ken Burns crop looks. So it should go from, yep, so that's the Ken Burns one. Then the next one I wanted to 
fit the screen so that you can just have a look at the image properly for a couple of seconds and then I'll show you what it's so that's the Ken Burns photo and then it's going into the next one so you can have a look for a couple of seconds and then the next one I will fit to the page so that's Rocco with his mum having some cake and I just want to fit that one properly there we go so that's me with the drawings and I've got Rocco's brother Burley looking over my shoulder he seems quite pleased um, so I'm going to crop that to fit and then at the end I'm going to add a little thank you title but we'll get to that in a minute So I like to have a quick scroll through everything to make sure it looks looks the way I want it to look and everything kind of falls into place and I'm quite happy with that. So now I'm going to add a title. So just click on title in the content library. Select the kind of title that you like. I generally like to use this one. can add a bit more information. And then you can select whatever text you like and change the font size to whatever you like. So I like that one. I don't know. Zepfino? Zepfino? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> and then this one, I like to put the date on my work as well. So I just do that a bit smaller and to the right. And then... I just type in the date and then I will try and work out what colors are going to work best so fill in the title over here and this is a tribute drawing in memory of Rocco the white German Shepherd So now I'll try and select the colour that's going to fit the best. Um, I quite like that one. Kind of blends in a bit too much, so maybe we try a lighter one. Oh no, you cannot even read that. So I think black is the best bet. Let's go with black. And then have a look at what it looks like. Oh. I, I don't know why I did that. Just change it back and that oh. Oh. oopsie there we go okay so have a look at that I like the title looks neat and tidy check your spelling and everything should be drawing your memory up yep so good, have a scroll through. Um, I'm going to add the logo next. So I like to have my logo just on the bottom left. So you just add it as a picture and then click on it and crop it to fit. And then click on that little icon, I'm not sure what you call it, and then go picture into picture. And then you can size it and position it wherever you want and then I'm just going to drag this across to make sure that it stays like that throughout the whole video so yeah up to there that looks good happy with that so now I want to add a title to the end just to say thank you for watching and where is it? I just want the one that's on the top top left. Position it to the top. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Goodness. I think I need to be wearing my glasses. <laughs> right, so make it the right size and the font that you like. What what font are we gonna go for? Let's go for. Oh uh, no! Yeah, 
I'll go for that one. Sebrick. Type it in. Thank you for watching. Make it black so you can see it a little bit easier and center it and spacebar it to wherever I want it to be. There's probably an easier way to do that, but I don't know. I don't know. How? <laughs> yep, I am happy with that. So we have a little scroll. Looks good. Happy. Now for the tunes. Yep, have another look. Great, I'm happy with that. Now, the last thing to do is just add the music. So you can click on iTunes over here, or you can open your iTunes separately and just drag and drop the audio that you want. So you can search your music up here. I'll just take that top one. Put it there. And then I will... You can't hear the music at the moment, but um, have a listen and then you can cut it wherever you like and position it however you want to make it fit properly. So I'm just going to split it over here. It still sounds good from there. And then you can do it, make it fade out by just pulling that little dot, whatever. Um, and then you can have a listen to what it sounds like. like yeah, listen to the end. I can probably fade it out a bit more. Yep. And then listen. I am happy with that. And then. I won't go through the whole video because it's almost three minutes, but you will um, you probably have a good proper look. Click on the event um, on the top left there and have a good look at the video. Make sure everything is right. Check your spelling. Um, check that everything works good. And then once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and uh, change it to an mp4 video. Uh, I got file. Um, I've tried uploading through YouTube and Facebook but it just uh, it just doesn't work. It's easier to just save it as an mp4 file on your computer wherever you want to save it. Check the resolution and quality over there. Um, once you save it on your computer then go ahead and open up your YouTube or Facebook and um, upload it to there. It's, it's just worked out easier for me. I keep having other hassles trying to upload it straight to YouTube. So save it, name it. Um, yeah, okay, okay. And then this little round circle here will tell you the progress of the video and how long it's going to take to finish exporting. So just wait a little bit and it should give you a time. Usually my videos take about um, about half an hour to an hour to export properly. Um, well, it shouldn't take that long. No, it keeps going down. Yeah, usually about half an hour to an hour. And then um, I wait for this, bot, this circle to be completely full and completely finished. You will get a little pop-up saying that your video, video is ready to watch. But it might be a bit glitchy in that because um, it's not fully exported. So wait for that circle to be solidly full before you go and upload it to your Facebook and YouTube because then you know that it has been exported to the best quality that it can be. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that this is useful. And if you have any other um, ideas or tutorials that you would like me to take you through then let me know in the comments and um, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, thank you for watching and I will be having my next tutorial in the next two weeks. I'm not sure what the topic is going to be yet, but we'll see.